Hey, what's up? In this video, I'll be making a circuit to power this uh, 60 watt ultrasonic cleaner. So I'll be using a 555 timer to generate the 40 kilohertz at a 50% duty cycle and a MOSFET driver. So basically for the circuit, all I need is the 40 kilohertz and a transistor to power the transducer. So I'm going to try my best to use uh, SMDs, but I ended up using two capacitors in there instead because as soon as I soldered everything together, I uh, ended up having 88 kilohertz, which was double what I wanted, and uh, just kind of threw those together and it made 43 kilohertz, and I just stuck with it. And I'm using uh, two transistors. Those are IRF740s. Those are pretty weak in terms of power. They can only output 10 amps and they have an internal resistance of 0.55 ohms, which I have two of them so I can reduce the internal resistance. And I'm using an inductor in parallel with the transducer. I'm looping around my probe just so I could measure the frequency and I don't want to connect it directly because I don't want to blow up my oscilloscope because I heard that happens if you try to do that with these transducers. And there you go. It's about 43, 44 kilohertz. Not quite 40, but close enough. I'm actually putting 75 volts in this, and uh, this thing is operating at about 30 watts. This is about half power this transducer could produce. If you have earphones on, I suggest you turn down the volume right about now. I'm wearing earplugs because this thing actually is. 